Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and in this video I'm going to show you how you can change the target of your camera to another object. So without any further ado, let's begin. You remember from last video how we did zoom and unzoom to our project so you can see it in here and you can see that we can zoom and unzoom and everything working fine, okay? So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can change the target of your camera. You can, you remember from last video, please watch my videos about cameras. In last video, we did talk about how you can have the camera as easy as possible to be a professional, okay? To be a pro game. And we did talk about all the property. We did talk about how you can zoom and how you can unzoom. Just please watch that video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can change this target in runtime. So for that, let's just create another player in here by just duplicating this with Ctrl D. I want to call it player two. Okay. And for make a difference between these two player, I want to go to this create fun create event in here. And I want to say image blend to something like red. Okay. So let's just put it on our room to see it if it's okay or not. First of all, let's just select our instance in here and put it in our room. And if we run it, it's just make it red, okay? The error that it says in here, it says this enum because enum is global. When you define an enum, you can use it everywhere. So we can delete it in OVG player number two and now we can run it again and everything should work fine. And you can see our player two is red in here, but our camera is following player one, not player two. We want to change that to follow player two, okay? For changing the target, I want to go to the player one and add an event in here for key pressed digits number one. So for the player one, whenever we hit number one or on our keyboard, we want to uh, set the target for our camera to be player one. And we, when we hit two on our keyboard, it will uh, the target of our camera will be uh, player number two okay so you remember from last video we get the camera of our viewport with view get camera and the viewport that we use is zero so we we'll put zero in here and we save it in cam variable in here okay so we can use that cam okay so we can say camera set view target and give it a our camera and for the object that we want to follow is our obj player okay and that's how easy you can change the target so let's just add another event for key press digits number two and in here i want to change it to obg player number two and that's how easy you can change the target of your camera and you can see no the target of our camera is player one and if we hit two on our keyboard, no our target is player number two and everything is working fine, right? So number one, number two, number one, number two. And game maker do a lot of things for us. And that's how easy you can change the change the target of the camera. In the future video, I will talk about how you can implement all of these by creating camera, creating camera mart, um, matrices, creating orthographic camera, and in the base bone of camera in Game Maker. This was the easiest way to do camera in Game Maker, how you can zoom and unzoom, how you can change the target of the camera. Even we can change the position of our camera to use that lerp that I did show you to smoothly go from player one to player two. And in uh, last video, I did show you how you can do that. In here, you can just say camera. I want to ju just show you the function for that camera set view position and that's how easy you can change the position of camera you can do a lot with these functions 
but I will show you the low level way to do the camera if you can call it low level of course so hope you like this video please subscribe to my channel and if you want to help me hit that like button thank you very much for watching bye